In this video, we are going to take a look at logarithm question and this is the hard question that came out in year 2015. First question, we will be looking at something similar to the exact question and question number two, we will be looking at the real exam question 2015, logarithm. On that particular year, 90% of the student can't answer this question. It was like, what? what? But since nowadays we already did exercise on this, then we can do this. But on that time, these kind of questions are not non-existent. I didn't even teach my students on that particular year about this kind of question, but it suddenly came out. So it shows that in AdMax, there will be 10% to 20% that question that you never seen before. Okay, so we have this question over here. Okay, so first we focus on this two. Okay, so I will say 2x equivalent to 3 power y. I mean 2 power x equivalent to 3 power y. I can lock the both sides. So I have lock 2x equivalent to lock 3y. And then I bring the x in front. So x lock 2 equivalent to y log 3 all right and then i can say log 2 is equivalent to y log 3 over x i bring this x to, to this side you might need it later so i will name this as 1 okay and then let's focus at this 2 now at this 2 now all right so I I would say 3 power y equivalent to 6 power z. Alright, then we lock the both sides. I would have um, lock 3y equivalent to lock 6z. And then it will become y lock 3 equivalent to z lock six okay so this six we can think of something uh, we can we can uh, break it down to two times three right so it will become y if y log three equivalent to z log two times three all right so if you want to separate this, the multiply, it will become plus. Okay, so I would have, okay, y log 3 equivalent to, this one, z log 2, this is multiply, right? I can break it off as z log 2 plus z log 3. So, z log 2 plus z log 3. Okay, remember from this one I have 1 over here. Now I can name this as 2 and then I can substitute. I can substitute 1 into 2 so that we only have log 3. Okay, here we have log 2 and log 3. We cannot really eliminate it, but if everything is in one type of log, then we can eliminate it. Alright, so over here, log 2. Okay, so we substitute. So y log 3 equivalent to z. Log 2, this one, y log 3 over x. y log 3 over x plus z log 3. Okay, alright. So, this one we have log 3, log 3, so I can factorize y log 3 equivalent to. Okay, so we want to factorize this. So I would have uh, zy over x. This one zy over x plus z. And then over here log 3, right? Zy over x plus z. And then log 3, I bring it to outside, which is we factorize that. And then now this log 3 and this log 3 I can eliminate. So now I have y equivalent to zy over, I make it same denominator, 
So plus Zx because he is over 1, right? So times x times x, so Zx. So we want Z in terms of x and y. So I bring x, this x to this side. Okay, so I write this one first. So I have Zy plus Zx equivalent to, I bring this x to this side so it will become xy. So factorize the z, y plus x, which is equivalent to this uh, xy. Then z is equivalent to xy over y plus x. Then you have it. Okay? Ha. It will give you 3 marks in your exam. Even though it seems like it deserves much more, but at least if you're going to lose, you just lose three. But anyway, you should be able to answer since you already take a look at this video, right? So I have one more question. This is a real question, the SPM real question. This is similar, but now it's the real one. Here, SPM question year 2015. And 90% of the students can't answer this because this is the first time uh, this kind of question came out in SPM on that time. So this is back in 2015. So let's take a look. Alright, so same as you already discussed. We focus on this one first. Okay, so I would say I will lock both of them. So log 3 power P equivalent to log 5 power Q. Alright, then I bring this P in front. P log 3 equivalent to Q log 5. And then log 3 equivalent to Q log 5 over P. We might need to use this later on. But for now, let's make this as number 1. On this 2. Alright. So, I do have, we do have 5 power Q equivalent to 15 power R. So, this one become Q log 5 equivalent to R log 15. So, this is Q log 5 equivalent to, we can break this 15 into 3 times 5. As we discussed previously, this will become Q log 5 equivalent to I can make this as addition so become R log 3 plus R log 5 alright hmm and then let's say this is number 2 and I will say sub substitute 1 into 2 okay then we substitute. So, this is 1. So, I will, I will put log 3 here as this one. Okay. So, first we have Q log 5 equivalent to R uh, sorry, R log 3. Okay, this log 3, we can put this inside this. Okay, can you see? I will key in this inside this log 3. Alright. So, R log 3. So, log 3 is Q log 5 over P plus R log 5. Okay. Okay, by the way, I didn't mention the question yet, right? So, for this one, we want R in terms of P and Q. Okay, so let's proceed. So, this one we have Q log Five equivalent to we can factorize R Q over P plus R log five. So I can eliminate this now, and then we have Q equivalent to R Q. This one is over one, so I times P here, so I times P. Make the denominator equal. So here's P. This is RP plus RP. And then, okay, 
I can factorize the R. We want R in terms of PQ, right? So I have I bring this P over here. So I have PQ equivalent to R in the bracket Q plus P. And then I have R equivalent to R equivalent to PQ. I bring this PQ, uh, Q plus P as a denominator for this one. Here, this is multiply, so bring it here as a divide. There you have it. Done. So this is the answer. Alright, so hope you can answer this kind of question if it came out in your exam. This is definitely a hard question for logarithm because back then, this one is not even in the normal activity sheet, okay? But now you already learned this, so yeah, it might came out, okay? Alright, so good luck. So do, do watch, do, if you are new here, do subscribe. Give me a like, I mean, hit the like button so that... This video is approach more students. Okay, do share the content and you can continue. I have probability, I have about three go, I do have video about a straight line. So you just click. Okay, you can go to my page and click or, or you have something, some other choice over here and go for it.